This is from the M&S Food Collection. It was £15. That's a hell of a lot of money. But this is a golden blonde chocolate and pistachio egg. Let's review it. Hello everyone, welcome to Food Review UK. My name's MJ. Let me read out exactly what this is because this is exciting, right? An exquisite Swiss golden blonde chocolate egg studded with roasted salted pistachios with Belgian milk chocolate eggs filled with a pistachio caramel. So there's actually kind of like two products here. And as you can see, this is like a really premium high-end sort of gift um, and looks really nice. Don't know how you open it. Do you actually have to undo this bow in order to, oh no, it's just got sellotape. I thought it had some sort of special contraption. No, just sellotape, which sort of is quite sort of space age technology in a way. That is on two sides. Jesus ain't never getting out at this rate. There we go. Oh, ho ho. The egg of, oh, waft of. The egg of half have been revealed. Oh, it's, it's, um, do you see that? It's like an oblong. It's not, um, it's thinner than it is wide. You see that? Which is less surface area. God, 15 pounds. This is quite small for £15, I will say that. Uh, but you can see a fair amount of pistachio studded in there. Um, the colour of blonde chocolate never really comes out very well on video, I find. Um, and also, in the bottom, let me put the egg down. In the bottom, we've got the eggs. And they look to be dusted as well. So you get five, 10, about 15 eggs. 15 pounds, 15 eggs. Sort of sounds fair, doesn't it? Right, how am I gonna get into this thing? No, uh, is that gonna work? Not really. Can I just bite into it? We'll see. Oh, vacuum. Interesting. Oh, ooh, guys, first of all, the initial taste of the blonde chocolate is good. Um, this is very, very caramel. You know, we've seen quite a lot of uh, like blonde, blonde chocolates recently. Caramel, caramel milk, Latelier from Nestle, Galaxy Fusions. I'd be hard pushed to discern this specific chocolate itself from any of those others. However, you got the addition of that pistachio, which actually, to be honest, definitely get the salt because it's a bit like, mm, especially there, almost a little bit like a pretzel, how that gives some really nice saltiness and definitely some crunch. A bit of crunch. Little shards of crunch. I like the papery saltiness that you get with the pistachio skin. Mm. To be honest, I'm not getting masses of pistachio flavour from there. I'm, I'm not getting any pistachio flavour, actually, from the egg itself. Um, slightly disappointing. Both size-wise, I honestly think it could be bigger for £15. It almost feels like the sort of cost has gone into the packaging quite a lot. Because how, how far does that go down? Oh, it does go all the way down, to be fair. So it goes down to my thumb on that side. Yeah, actually, to be fair, there's not much. It doesn't leave much gap, to be fair. Um, so it does use the room. Well, although you've got this little cradle in there. Um, I don't know what I'm saying, but I will just make the point anyway. Yeah, that egg is disappointing. I want more pistachio flavour. I can't actually taste pistachio. Feel it in my bloody teeth though. All right. Pistachio caramel eggs. So these ones are milk chocolate, dusted in cocoa, and they should be filled with a pistachio flavour caramel. I want you to get a good look at the dusted egg before I bite into it. it smells really nice. Oh. Ooh, liquidy. Oh, it's quite a soft caramel. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, those are nice. Mmm. I can't quite identify that as pistachio flavour. 
Well, lightly. Lightly, but mm, that pistachio flavour is very light, but also the caramel itself does taste very different. It definitely doesn't taste like a normal caramel. It has a strong and distinctive different taste that you can just about get as pistachio, but that is really nice. Um, mm. It's almost like a pistachio liqueur. It's got that slight slight strength to it, like bourbon vanilla sort of has. Mm. And then the milk chocolate is really nice. They're really good quality. I actually think those are better than the egg itself. Um, which, I don't know, I'm, I'm laughing, but maybe, you know, it is quite a big component of it. Um, is this chocolate I have on my finger or sticky sellotape? Mm. Sticky sellotape residue. Um, mm. Yeah, I really like them. Overall, it's not worth £15. I have to be honest. For the pr considering the price, you know, we don't always take price into consideration on this channel. Um, sometimes if you're paying a lot of money and the food that you're eating is absolutely incredible, it sort of doesn't feel too bad, like Five Guys is a good example of that. It's very expensive, but I always feel so incredibly um, uh, looked at, not looked after, that's idi idiotic. Um, incredibly full and satisfied, that's the word I'm looking for. I feel satisfied with Five Guys, I don't mind paying that for that. Um, sometimes things are overpriced, I'd probably only give this two stars. That's because of the price. Um, if you remove the price from the equation, I'd give the egg three stars. And I'd give the chocolate caramel eggs like a very, very high four stars. So even, you know, best case scenario, you're paying £15 for a high four. I personally wouldn't pay that. Um, but yeah, hopefully this video has helped you. Um, I don't really know who to recommend this to because it needs to taste better for me to really recommend it to anyone, even if you're a massive pistachio fan or a massive... No, maybe if you're an absolute fanatic about blonde chocolate, maybe you'll like it more then. But there's sort of cheaper things out there, isn't there? Thank you for watching, guys. Uh, you can check out the actual moment where we got this and the excitement that we had on Theme Park Life, our vlog channel. Yeah, you can actually see the moment that we put this up. So. And now I'm hiccuping. Uh, say it, yo. Happy Easter. Jesus, if you're watching, respect, brother. Even though I don't believe in you. So, Although, did Jesus factually exist? I don't believe in God. So, hmm, interesting. Yeah, just going down a, down a place with my cornflakes, isn't I?